Born in Tel Aviv, Joseph Kalikstein came to the United States in 1962. Kalikstein studied at the prestigious Juilliard School, where his principal teachers included Joshua Shore, Edward Stuerman, and Ilona Cabos. I started my life out, even though I'm, I'm known as a German musician, I started my life out as not only as a soloist, I didn't play any German music, didn't know. I just knew vaguely about it. Kalikstein's rise to prominence began in 1967 when he won the Young Concert Artists' Auditions. His subsequent capturing of the Leventritt Award further targeted him as one of his generation's most promising artists. The thing, at the time, it was the American uh, competition, the Leventritt, in 1969. And that resulted in uh, a lot of uh, orchestral performances with all the major orchestras. Mr. Kalikstein has collaborated with celebrated conductors and appeared internationally with the world's finest symphony orchestras. And uh, I've been doing that ever since, in recitals, and then I started playing a little chamber music, uh, mostly with string quartets, you know, playing piano quintets. In 1976, he began to play in music capitals worldwide as one-third of the famed Kalikstein Laredo Robinson Piano Trio. They asked me if I would like to form a trio. It took me two days to say yes. And we were just going to do it for fun and maybe a few concerts. So we were looking forward to that. And then uh, Robert Shaw, who was a conductor of Atlanta at the time, who was a very close friend of the Carters, was putting together a series of events during the inauguration of January 77. And President Carter wanted classical music. And he heard that we formed the trio and he called Jamie Laredo up. They were good friends and said, would you come down? So that was our first, the East Room was our first public performance. In the fall of 1997, Joseph Kalikstein was appointed artistic advisor for chamber music to the Kennedy Center and artistic director of its Fortis Chamber Music Concerts. Abe Fortis, besides being a, a, a great judge, he was an avid uh, chamber music lover. And that's why in his will he left some money to, to make sure there is chamber music in, in the Kennedy Center. To be in a, in a position where I certainly wouldn't say money is no object, but to be in a position knowing that chamber music is safe here, it's a tremendous uh, luxury. Acclaimed for the heartfelt intensity and technical mastery of his playing, pianist Joseph Kalikstein enthralls audiences throughout the United States and Europe, winning equal praise as orchestral soloist, recitalist, and chamber musician.